What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about the new weekly reward for the, um, for logging in. And lads, it's looking like it's going to be someone that's at least going to be better than Trey Young. Will he be better than Elvin Hayes? I'm not 100% sure of that, but I doubt, I doubt this card is going to be bad. I actually think, I have a feeling this card is going to be very, very good. So for anyone who is... A little bit concerned about these cards. I think David Thompson is going to be a uh, a very, very mediocre card. He's going to be very mediocre. And that's probably the best way to describe him. Like, is he going to be good? No. Is he going to be um, unusably bad like Trey Young? Probably not. I think very average. He'll be a bad Dark Matter. But it'll be average. So, anyway. Now. Let's get on to 2KDB. So. Has there been a David Thompson card this year? Yes, there is. Okay. So, we all know this here. This was the season two, if I'm not mistaken. Let me have, let me have a thing. He was season two, wasn't he? Yeah, Maurice Lucas, I think, was, was after. Or was Maurice Lucas before David Thompson? I know Bobby Jones was season four. I think he was season two. I think this is actually the order. Bobby Jones, Kiki Vanway, Charles Oakley, Harrison Barnes, Kevin Johnson. I think this is the actual order to Pink Diamonds. Um, So I think he was season two. And I, I remember everyone... Well, not everyone. I remember um, Blaze had like... 4,000 tokens or something he collected in season one. And he was, like, expecting a Galaxy Opal, and he was like, what the hell is going on? I collected all these tokens for a David Thompson. But, um, 95 speed, he had 95 acceleration, not a good three ball. Now, remember, he could get, like, he could get all the good badges, which was a big thing with him. And then he didn't have climbs or anything. He, man, he sucked. He sucked even for his time. He sucked. So, he's 6'4 with a 6'7 wingspan. Like, that's not going to change. And we know that that's not going to change. Base 9... Danielle Marshall. Okay, let's try out that release. Let's try out base nine right here. So obviously we know we can see right here it's a wheel spin for you, David Thompson. Let's try out Danielle Marshall. I'm not sure do I have him yet. Surely I picked him up as one of my cards yet. I, I get it. It's base nine on normal. But normally you can just see if the release looks okay. There's a load of releases. If they look weird on normal, they're going to look weird on very quick. So, as far as I'm aware, Danielle Marshall had a pretty nice release from what I remember. But again, like, I'm trying to think back to September. I'm trying to think back to when I used these guys, these token with the very start of the year. Okay, cold zones don't matter. I mean, the quickest way he's going to get a release from the corner. You know what? That's actually pretty good. That's actually, that is not a bad release at all. No, like again, obviously this one's slow. Can I change jump shot timing? CPU slash user slider is, is there a jump shot speed slider? Defensive awareness. Speed with ball, speed without ball. No. That's annoying. I would have hoped that that would have helped. There used to be a way that you could always, um, Used to always be able to change the speed. So get your match use all star seal success. There is no defense. Maybe it's in shooting. Inside shot success, dunking traffic success. Body up, no. So we can't test it out on very quick. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is release gonna be fine on very quick. Like this is fine. This is greenable on normal. Like a release that's greenable on normal. Is gonna be fine. I'm very, very, I'm very quick. I keep saying very, very quick, but it'll be fine. I'm very quick. Like yeah, he's gonna his release. I get it. It's not David Thompson exactly, but I'm telling you, Danielle Marsh. Uh, that release. They don't even need to get. They won't. They won't give him a new release. We've seen from the other cards. They won't give him a new release. Base nine is perfectly, perfectly fine. He's not gonna have the power dribble style. He's gonna get quick or shifty. And honestly, you would rather see, if you don't see quicker shifty, you want to see fundamental. Fundamental is actually pretty good. Um, he, he's got, he's not going to have a normal behind the back. 
he's not going to have the normal one escape. He will have Pro 2, Pro 3. And again, we saw it in Elvin Hayes. We saw what they did. They gave Elvin Hayes Pro 2, Pro 3 and quick dribble style. Even though they did give Elvin Hayes his correct release. Funnily enough, he has got Ryan Anderson base, Ryan Anderson upper. But if you look at Ryan Anderson himself, he has got Kobe base and Andre Iguodala upper. So Ryan Anderson does not in fact have Ryan Anderson base or Ryan Anderson upper. Which is hilarious. Again, just like they're giving Exum base to everybody except Dante Exum. Um, he's got, again, base 9. This is going to be a good card. This is going to be a really, really solid card. So, I'm trying to think guys that I can compare him to in-game. Like, we're looking at 6'4". We're looking at undersized 2 guys. Like, obviously, he's not going to be a Dwayne Wade. He's probably going to get all the hot... He's probably going to get what I reckon in hot zones. He'll probably have 2 red hot zones here. He'll keep his 2 reds. And he'll have probably a non-hot zone right in front of the 3-point line. It's obviously not going to be a clone. And he's obviously going to have a 45 hot fighters. He should get range extender. Probably on gold. I doubt he gets it on half. But he should get it on gold. Because he'll probably have like a 88, 89, 3. I reckon. At worst an 85, 3. Which should still give him gold range extender. But. Like you've got. I don't even think in terms of two guards that'll be similar. Steam guys I have in my collection. I mean, it'll be better than Gary Harris. I mean, I know he can't play the point guard position, but... Is he going to be that different to a J.R. Smith in terms of ability? Like, he'll be... Like, a, probably a better... It'll be better than his B.O., but it'll be different. Nah, actually, J.R. is a bad comparison. This is a tough one. There are very few guys that will be comparable because a lot of the guys are taller than him. Like a way, a way better pink time way doesn't do him justice. I mean, there are no real comparisons that I have anyway. I like guess 6'4 guards that are like a way better Norman Powell diamond maybe? Like... I don't know, it's it's a tough one to describe, but I do reckon that this new David Thompson card is going to be very, very solid in game. So anyway, let me know in the comment section, are you guys excited for this card? Are you excited? Are you not excited? Um, I think it's definitely worth it just even to log in because it's completely free. And I think, I don't think the card's going to be spectacular. Don't get me wrong. I do not think this is going to be the greatest card in the world, but I would be shocked if he's not at least Elvin Hayes level. I would be shocked if he's not at least at least as good as a 5k MT card. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.